Now, if you're over 50 and you're back on the market, the dating tricks you used in your 20s probably won't work now unless you're George Clooney. Yeah, it's working for him, but I love <laughs> Guru. Dr. Wendy Walsh says mature dating needs a mature mindset, and she's here now to help finding someone later in life. So let's get the top tips. What dating habits do we need to ditch from our younger years, Dr. Wendy? Well, first you should know that more and more people are dating over the age of 50, and the stigma is completely gone as far as online dating is concerned. So they're jumping online. It's the largest growing demographic. But the big mistake they tend to make is thinking that it will feel exactly like it did in their 20s, that they should go for hot and instant chemistry and all this excitement, when really they're looking for something different in their life. They should be looking for companionship. I mean, what is a relationship? It's an exchange of care. So, so we do often think that chemistry is the deal breaker, but you disagree with that, Wendy? Well, I don't think chemistry is like winning a lottery. Chemistry is something you build. It doesn't just happen. Now, maybe when you're 25 and you're both charging with hormones, you can mistakenly think that you won a lottery. But I think <laughs> over the age of 50, chemistry is something that's built. And it is this combination of con you know, emotional connection, a personality co a compatibility, and of course, a sexual connection. But if you have good communication, you could almost have good sex with anybody. Just gonna let that hang there for a second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, those cookie kids out there in their 20s and 30s are searching for Mr. and Mrs. Wright. Uh, Wendy, what should we be looking for now as we get older? Well, I want to remind people that when Till Death Do Us Part was invented, death was pretty imminent. So therefore, Brilliant. most of us will, <laughs> even the most monogamous of us, may have two or even three long-term stints of monogamy because our life has our life uh, span has extended. So you, when you're in your 20s, you're you're in the middle of your fertility window. You're looking for somebody to help raise babies. You're looking for a, a provider, maybe if you want to stay home and raise those babies. But once your peers in your 50s you're going to be looking for somebody who's fun, somebody you can get along with, somebody you just want to hang out with so that you won't be alone in a shut-in somewhere. Yeah, and use your knees, I think. Bend your knees a lot more, I think. <laughs> it's good advice. So you think, Dr. Wendy? I think that's good advice. And you know what? I think the other thing to consider is remember that peers stay attracted to peers across the lifespan. Even people that say, oh, the guys all want the young girls or the girls are all cougars now. They want the young guys. I think that's a small percentage of the population. I think most people really get turned on by somebody who's their intellectual peer and their biological peer. That's why I like right it. Right on, yeah, that's right. Dr. Wendy. Good thank you so Wendy. much.